sorry Scorpio, I'm just messing with it like. It keeps changing. So, I'm not good at this camera stuff, am I? Right, we'll just go with that. So, I'm here to do these September readings for yourselves. Um, I know they're halfway through, but Mercury Retrograde on my internet has been going off for weeks. We've, it's taken me so long to upload. It's back on, but it's taken me so long, so I need to ring them because I do pay full whack. Um, so I need to get that sorted, which is stressing me out, as you can see. Um, so, September, Mercury Retrograde. That will be gone for by the, around the 14th, 15th. Um, so, next few days, you know. Um, we do have that post shadow as well, but this one is being a doozy. It's driving me insane. I'm not going to lie. Uh, so these readings will be extended. You can find that on the Patreon link in the description box below. So hit me up there. Uh, you get all of the extended. You can check your sun, moon, your rising and your Venus, which is my second point. So what I've done, I get asked all the time. I get inboxes and emails all the time. Uh, what is your sun, moon, rising and your Venus? How do I find it? So your sun, moon, rising and your Venus. It's your, four per, it's your four pillars of your personality that are all as important as each other. So everyone always runs to the sun sign, which is the main star sign, where the sun was when they were born. Your moon, your rising and your Venus, Venus especially in regards to love, is important. So what I've done is I've written up in layman's terms, so it's easy to understand it, because I know that with people with astrology, it can kind of get confusing and you get lost in it all if you don't understand. Uh, so I've done it in layman's terms. It's on my website. So if you click on my website, it'll just literally pop up. So you can screenshot it. You can download it. I think you download it. Um, save it or something like that. It also explains how you can find yours. And even if you don't know what time you were born, I would configure that one out as well. So I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to dive straight in Scorpio now for your reading. So I'm going to get you on from believing in your own magic. That was quick. Homeward, take yourself out on a date. Oh, I love that. Take yourself out on a date. Are you staying in too much? You know, she's standing there at the threshold and she's got all that nature outside that door. And, you know, yes, yeah, she's standing there. She's smelling the coffee. She's seeing the birds and things like that. But I feel like there's a need to treat yourself. It is a, a number 42, which is also a six. Six is about peace, love, harmony and balance. And I feel like Scorpio... It's time for you to have that peace, love, harmony and balance. Even a spa or, you, you know, I feel like you need to treat yourself throughout the month of September, Scorpio. Uh, so I absolutely love that. Homeward. Take yourself out on a date. I love it. Even for a coffee. You know, look at, she's not drinking out of a coffee cup. She's drinking out of a cup where you actually like, bought it from somewhere. Maybe go and sit in a coffee shop. You know, you never know what will happen. Read a book, you might meet somebody, you might get into, strike up a conversation. Everything happens for a reason, doesn't it? So, Scorpio, let's go into your main energy. In the extended, I'll be clarifying each and every card. As always, it's a much deeper reading um, than the generals that I put on to YouTube. So, Scorpio, energy for the month of September. And if you, are, if you are on my Facebook, uh, Divinely Guided with Love, I am going live tomorrow night, UK time, 7pm. Just doing questions and answers. We'll do the Tarot Marathon where I just fly through them really quickly. So I try not to have breaks. I try to just go boom, 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 boom. Right, we've got a tower in reverse. So something has blown up. Good thing is it's in reverse. It's already happened. Um... Everything just feels like it fell down. Do you know what I mean? So maybe taking yourself out on a date, maybe doing something for yourself is what you need to do in order to make a comeback from the tower. The tower is actually your energy as well, Scorpio. So main energy, we've got justice. So the card of Libra. So you could be going towards Libra season, uh, which starts on the actual 23rd of September as well. So maybe some balance comes in around then. Maybe you're dealing with a Libra. Maybe you have Libra in your chart. Remember you saw me around it and your Venus. There's something karmically going on here. There's some bit, there's scales that need balancing. There could be legal situations. If you're self-employed, getting on top of your books, you know, that type of thing. What's crossing that energy is the Queen of Cups, your energy. So it looks like you're in a tether here because your emotions are being pulled, but then you've got logical thoughts as well. So it passes Cancer Scorpio. You're struggling with the emotional energy of it. Um, I feel like that's why you do need to like kind of get yourself out of the house, do things for you, go back to nature, even maybe be around water, your environment, 
Uh, maybe that's why I said spas. You know, like the jacuzzis, the swimming back water. Um, why is it coming right now? The Ace of Cups. Love. But it's also time for you to make sure that your cup is running over. It's time for you to be happy. You know, what is it that's stopping you being truly happy with the Ace of Cups? Because the Ace of Cups is it's a divine sign that you deserve happiness. Yeah, in the recent past, there's been a lot of juggling. See, look at the waves. They should be smooth, smooth sailing, but it's just, it's been like a roller coaster emotionally. Juggling everything, could be finances, could be emotions. Emotions do get uh, enrolled in financial uh, disputes and things like that. But there's been a lot of juggling. Um, you may have felt like you've been juggling everything. It's like life has been a circus act. You know, at present, they're telling you to slow down and work on yourself. There's, there's, there's like a recovery energy with the Eight of Pentacles. Building yourself up, building yourself back up slowly. So if it's business that you lost, you know, with the Justice card being there, um, finances, that type of thing. It's time to watch where you're spending. It's time to save your money. But don't be scared of going and treating yourself. Don't don't hold back from treating yourself. Like thinking, you oh, know, I can't do that. That, that, that. That's myself. That's selfish. But no. You need that this month. You need that this month, Scorpio. It's the eight. So it's about you building yourself back up from something. Going forward, we've got the Page of Swords in reverse. See, that's the challenges in reverse. I feel like you've just got to the point where you need to cut off the challenges. And it could be impulsive thoughts, intrusive thoughts. You know, it is air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The air is thought concepts. And they seem to be messing with your emotional concepts. So it's like, I need some kind of clarity on this. I need to get information. You may get like legal advice, that type of thing. It is an energy of advice, getting advice so that you're not all in your head. Uh, you're not questioning everything. It's like, let's get the facts and let's make a planning going forward. Your power is the page, page of wands. I kind of want to say it's time to chase your dreams. It's time to chase your happiness. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy there. Look out for the next fire sign coming in, which will be Sagittarius, um, 21st of November to 21st of December. Something new and exciting, new opportunities, but I feel like there's just, the excitement has gone. The excitement has gone. It's almost like you fear excitement because you're so used to that happening. You know, so it's like you can't get excited about things if you constantly just, everything just lets you down all the time. The outside influence is the three of ones. So the, the universe is saying like you've got to trust and have faith that what's meant for you is never going to pass you by. You don't have to chase it. You won't have to fix it. It will come and find you at the right time. It's abundance. You know, it's the power of three. It's the trinity. In your hopes and fears, the seven of ones, you are sick to death of arguing, fighting, uh, feeling like you are being attacked. The good thing is, these people or these situations, they're not even worthy of being in the card. But it's the energy of you always feeling like you have to work hard and justify yourself. And Do you know what I mean? I feel like you've climbed from the bottom up and it feels like you're being squashed back down all the time. You've got the higher ground, Scorpio. You're owning it. But mentally, with the thought concepts, something else has a power over you. Your outcome is the Ace of Swords. So you, you've got a lot of water in air. But your outcome is using that Ace of Swords to have a, you know, sign contracts, sign off contracts, sell things, get rid of things, cut the cords, uh, you know, put your crown back on your head, speak your truth, get that information, get that clarity. I feel like September is a month of analysing and getting the information. It's almost like you're doing a spreadsheet on life. What do I need to get rid of? What should I invest in? Where am I investing too much? So it could be in business. It could be in life itself. So let's get you on from working with your own life. Boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? Well, I couldn't, I couldn't have said it better myself. Because something is getting in here. And that should not be allowed. There's too many energies drawing on you there. Boundaries. You need to come first. You need to come first. So if this is where I leave you, I'm going to leave you with lots and lots of love, Scorpio. If I'm meeting you on the extender, where I'm going to do the much deeper reading, I'll see you all there now. Bye.